It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul. Day three of TwitchCon. Uh, my voice was even deeper today than it was yesterday. There will probably be fewer people here today, so um, maybe it won't be as loud. I don't know. I wanted to actually check out some H1Z ones, so I'm going to try to actually make it into the arena for the early session. It's probably going to be packed. I'm going to go to Brown Man's Meetup at 2 um, and just uh, say hi to him again because he's just super cool. That's it, really. My, my voice. <laughs> my voice! So I kind of got tired of I can't see a thing. I kind of got tired of sitting in my hotel room, and so I thought I would uh, look around a little bit. And I thought I might try to go to the beach or something. Got a little bit of time before the show floor opens. I actually got to see if I get up onto the roof. But something I did, I did, did want to see while I was here is if we look over there, past all those ships, is the actual Pacific Ocean. Not like, not the Pacific Ocean. Uh, like next stop, Asia. I grew up so close to the coast for so long and I never actually saw too much of the Pacific Ocean. It was a lot of like waterways near the Pacific Ocean. It's really hot right here. <laughs> I'm gonna regret being outside, I think. Okay, so I'm outside the hotel now. I'm actually on the ground floor. That's exciting. And I, you'll never guess who I ran into in the elevator. I ran into Jim from OBS. What a cool guy. I was um, just talking with him about his uh, support and stuff. And he was just like, basically I was asking him like, how do people like me, for example, um, support what he does because what he does is amazing like I've paid money for software that doesn't do as much as OBS does <laughs> and uh, and he gives it away for free so I was kind of like well how do people support you and he's like no no he basically said you know what if you really want to donate there's a pay there's a button on the website but don't worry about it because you know he's doing well and things have worked out for him and he's really happy with how things have gone I remember last year I had given him, I didn't have anything on me to give him, so I thought, well, I have a $5, a Canadian $5 bill. And so I gave him a $5 Canadian bill, because in Canada, of course, blue. Our $5 bills are blue. And uh, when I saw him the other day on the floor, I was like, oh man, I wish I had like a $10 bill to give him or something like that. Didn't realize I actually had one in my wallet. <laughs> so I saw him in the elevator, I was talking with him. Super cool guy. I said, well, you know, last year I gave you this $5 Canadian bill and and um, I wanted to give you this $10 bill. And he actually pulls out his wallet and he has the $5 bill I gave him last year. <laughs> like, wow, like how cool is that for me? Like this guy makes the software that the vast majority of streamers on Twitch use. Um, he gives it away for free and he still had the $5 bill I gave him. <laughs> so shout out to Jim from OBS for being awesome. And if you use OBS, consider donating. No, this is not sponsored, it's not an ad, but consider donating to people, because people like that who are so willing to um, to give up themselves and to, to make life better for other people, support them, you know what I mean? Support them and so that more people are encouraged to do that sort of thing. I was gonna head back over to the beach, um, but I'm kind of on the wrong side of this pond and they kind of have it blocked off so I can't get to the right side of the pond. I think I just walked all the way around here and now I have no, I can't get over to where I want to go. By the time I actually figure out how to get to the beach, um, it's probably going to be time to go to the show floor. So, um, yeah. Turns out earlier I just kind of went the wrong way um, around that water pond thingy. Went the other way and it was a very easy way to get around. But now, I mean from 17 floors up, that's the hotel there, the big tall white building. And I was on the top uh, section, the top stairwell there. I don't know if you can see that with this camera. But uh, the beach looked a lot closer from up there. The door is open at 11 and it's 22. This is not being well thought out. Still, um, lovely day for a walk. Huh. Self-referential references. Well, I'm about to jump onto the freeway, and the traffic is terrible. So I have a feeling it's going to take me a little more than two hours to get down to sunny San Diego. Still, a lovely evening for a drive. A lovely evening for a drive. A lovely evening for a drive. A lovely night for a drive. A lovely night for a drive. A lovely day for a walk. This is it. This is the beach. This is uh, the beach at Long Beach.
I gotta go. I gotta get back now. Um, but I can say I've been to the beach. I might just grab a quick selfie, then I'll go. I'm back in the hotel now. It's just after 11, when I was hoping to be in the lab to get in the building. It was totally getting warm outside, so I'm gonna freshen up a bit. And, uh, hopefully they're not making my room right at this moment. They're in my room. Well, and now it's uh, 20 after 11. <laughs> I have uh, sufficiently refreshed myself and I'm quite a bit cooler now. Now I will go uh, and see if I can actually get anywhere near the H1Z1 arena. Like I say, I'm expecting fewer people today because it is the Sunday, but hopefully I can get in and I can actually check it out and film some stuff and yeah, let's go see what we can see. So this is the H1Z1 arena again. I don't know if you can, what you can see down there, but basically there's a huge ring of computers um, and that's where all the players are playing. Like this is, this, this is for real right now. I haven't played a lot of H1Z1 uh, or any of it at all. So I just wanted to check it out just to be here. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be good. So I just watched the end of that match, watched that match at the end. It was kind of cool. It was kind of uh, hard to get into it without being able to hear the commentary very well. It was just really echoey and stuff, but uh, it was still a good uh, still a good match. It was very cool. I think I wandered the show floor for a bit and then uh, wait for the 2 p.m. meet up with Brown Man. I'm not saying I got lost again, but I'm having a very difficult time keeping track of all the places I want to visit. Now I'm going to go investigate a chair again. Okay, well I just hung out with um, uh, the folks at Snapfinger Click. Bunch of cool people, like just super nice people and, and so looking forward to their game coming out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go investigate chair. I know I said I was going to do that earlier and I kind of got distracted, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go investigate a chair. The chair I've been using, uh, it, I bought it like 13 years ago and uh, it's, I've needed a new chair for, like, for a long time. So. Hopefully, if I buy a chair, it'll last me another 13 years, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go investigate chairs. So I just got out of the lineup, <laughs> to, for what it was worth, just got out of the lineup to meet Ray. Um, just to say hi and say thanks for recognizing me last year and stuff. His lineup was insane, they actually opened it like 15 minutes early, and, uh, so I was basically standing there for nearly an hour. <laughs> Which is kind of weird, but you know, you get chatting with people and it goes by pretty quickly, so... The big thing with the chair earlier was I had to decide what color I wanted. Um, and since I only apparently buy a chair once every 13 years, I think I better go with, uh, with something that's black because they have like a nice one that's like has some white on it. But I was thinking a white chair is not going to be white in 13 years, so... Um, yeah, I think I might get a black one. So it turns out after standing in line for an hour, my legs are now officially tired. I was doing really, really well until I got moving around again after that line. So I'm actually coming back to the hotel. Just going to, going to relax for a bit. There is a panel I want to go to here, um, but it's in like four to five minutes or something. So I got time. Been quite enjoying um, putting my feet up, quite literally putting my feet up because I felt like there was some swelling going on in my lower extremities. But I'm kind of sitting here kind of thinking, you know what, TwitchCon's only going to run for a few more hours this year I should really get back to the floor so yeah I'm going to, to do that really force myself to be extroverted and I'm an introvert at heart so um, I kind of do have to like force myself to get out there and introduce myself to people and that sort of thing so but I should do that it's only a few more hours of TwitchCon I should really uh, you know stand up and stuff and I'm gonna get back to the show floor I'm gonna introduce some people I'm going to swap some business cards, I'm going to film some stuff for my vlog. So I'm going to stand up, going to um, take some more ibuprofen. Uh, I had a snack, so I'm going to pop a Tic Tac like it's hot. Alright, let's do this. Energy. Okay, so... I was walking out the uh, walking out the hotel. I'm in the I'm like my I'm like two doors down and I in the hallway in the hotel and here we have all these people those people. Hey, and this guy, guy and this guy here is and this guy here is vlog, vlogging. Yeah. Fainter is vlog fainter. 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 Yeah, fainter, yeah, is, fainter is vlogging right now. So we're actually like crossing the vlogging streams and he's got a oh, yeah. way nicer GoPro. They look at that GoPro. Isn't that nice? So yeah, you guys should definitely check out. 
Paul T G T G G. And and you guys should definitely check out Fainter. Look at that. Yeah. Oh man, we're, nice, we're man. shooting each other's awesome. bellies now. There you go. Uh, <laughs> belly, belly buttons were shown. So there you go. There is <laughs> mission accomplished before I even left the uh, before I even left the hotel. Shout out to those guys for being awesome and letting me like accost them in the hallway. Uh, links in the description, of course. But uh, let's head back to the show floor and and uh, pretend like I'm not tired. <laughs> Well, I just spent a bunch of time wandering the expo hall and a bunch of time playing more It's Quiz Time with the Snap Finger Click people. The final yearly wrap-up thingy is in about 50 minutes, so I'm going to head over there for that. TwitchCon sadly is coming to an end. Far too soon, but it's all good because honestly if you're an exhibitor you're probably exhausted at this point. And then back to the hotel and get ready to go home. So I've come across two other people uh, here that had very similar instant cameras to mine. Got pictures with it when I saw them, so... There we go. There were, there were at least three instant ca three instant cameras here at TwitchCon. I'm heading for the Twitch Yearly, the finals in, it's in there. It's in the, the big theater here, so... This is it, this is the end, this is the Twitch wrap-up, or the TwitchCon wrap-up. I'm tired. Um, yeah, and what a year it's been, it's been awesome. We'll go in there, we'll, we'll do the thing, and then... We'll head back to the hotel and, and uh, begin wrapping up my weekend, not just not just the con. Thinking just waiting, this is the end of the talent show that happens right really before Twitch yearly. So a lot of pressure you can see the uh, teleprompter over my shoulder there. Oh, he's out of the Thank you all for an amazing year and an amazing TwitchCon 2017. We love you guys! We love you. <laughs> Well, that's it. Twitch is officially over. Definitely bittersweet. I had a great year this year. Met so many awesome people. Kind of got a little emotional because it's over and it was such a great weekend for me. So, shout out to Twitch for putting on an amazing event again. Looking forward to what the next year has in store, I guess. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can make it back next year. But the trip is not over. TwitchCon's over, trip's not over. So, it's <sighs> back to the hotel. Uh, I've got to figure out some food still. And I gotta walk all the way around the convention center again to get back to the hotel. Mm. I, just, I remember that last year at TwitchCon, uh, when I was in San Diego, and I should have gone to get Mexican food. I actually didn't and went to Subway. So I ended up going to Subway. And I decided I didn't really feel like doing. Um, room service chicken fingers and fries again, as delicious as they were. Uh, so, and there's a subway actually that's fairly nearby, so I'm going to go to subway. And I figure I'm probably going to run into some streamers and some TwitchCon people on the way. So I'm actually bringing my bag, even though I probably didn't need to, because I got my camera in there. So in case I need to do any more instant photos, because I still have a bunch of them. So here we go. So I've got the subway, and uh, needless to say, some cookies, and a small bag of sun chips because they're sun chips and they're original flavored and if they were available in Canada, the Frito-Lay would have my money. Met a cool guy in Subway, just like I thought. Managed to get rid of one more instant photo. Cool guy, viewer, is just at Subway and just struck up a conversation and hung out. So that's one of the coolest things about TwitchCon is that you can pretty much strike up a conversation with everybody, anybody, and everybody's friendly and everyone's chill. And it took me a bit longer to get here than I thought. I'm not walking as quickly as I once was. But uh, heading back to the hotel to enjoy my, my many foods. And then we will start packing for home time tomorrow. Hotel is this way. Another one of the cool things about it is, I mean, I just walked through the lobby. And uh, this lobby is just filled with TwitchCon people. And everyone's just hanging out, having a good time. So, I tell you, this is a fantastic community. I love this community. Uh, so my, my sub just exploded. Um, so I'm back at the hotel now. I just got the email uh, to check in for my flight. So I'm going to do that um, while I eat. If I can kind of clean up the, clean up what just happened to my sub. I finished my sub and my cookies. 
And to be honest with you, I wasn't feeling like eating anymore. I haven't eaten very much in, over the weekend, so I haven't started or anything like that, but I just haven't been eating big meals or anything, so um, didn't feel especially hungry. So I'm gonna save these bad boys for tomorrow. That's exciting. But yeah, that was an awesome Twitch con. I had an absolute blast. To be honest with you, I'm kind of like looking forward to getting home and streaming again. What a great end to it. Except now, down below, near the convention center, it wasn't a part of TwitchCon, but there's like a zombie party thing going on. And so the music is crazy loud. I'm on the 17th floor and I can hear it just fine. Not sure what I'm going to be doing for the next little bit, but uh, won't be sleeping. I realize I have one picture left uh, in this camera. And uh, if I can get rid of one picture, I can have... I can load another set of 10 pictures and have one less set of 10 pictures to take. So I'm actually going to see if there's a bunch of people in the lobby still, and if there are, I'm going to see if I can get rid of a ten, either one or 11 pictures. And if I can do that, there'll be that much left stuff to pack. So let's see if anyone's even still down there, and if I can find people who will, uh, who at this point will even give me the time of day. The good news, of course, being that if I fail, you're not going to see this. I also noticed this hotel has no 13th floor. You see that? It goes from 12 to 14. I didn't realize that was still a thing. So good news! I managed to get through like eight pictures so far, and this was one of them right here. So this is my good friend. My name is Spencer. Spencer. I work with the channel called Late Night Tabletop. We stream board games on the internet three times a week. So if you guys love board games, go to twitch.tv slash late night tabletop. Six o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. It's a nice. lot of fun. A lot there of fun you go. stuff. So you can watch board games and then... Yeah. Something yeah. that not a lot of people are doing. But uh, there's a handful of us out there in the community that uh, enjoy making a mockery of ourselves on the internet. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That, sounds, that sounds like fun. Cool. It sounds better than my stream, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, and this is another person. This is another one of my close listener her friends. What's going on? Why my name is Flip Trick. Links in the description, by the way. All the links will be in the description. <laughs> this is going to be on YouTube, so I had to say that. Um, and what do you stream? Uh, mostly a variety streamer. A lot yeah. of PlayStation games. Okay, sweet. PlayStation. We just yeah. finished up South Park. Nice, very cool. PC Master Race. Okay, and this, yes! and this is uh, this is one of the all important mods we have on on uh, Twitch. I forgot the name of the platform for a second. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> where are we again? I should have just looked behind me. Yeah. Twitch, Twitch, okay, Twitch yes, that's where we're at. I'm yes. RJ Snacks. I'm one of Unsung versus mods, <laughs> who uh, we're going to meet momentarily. Yes, yes that must be said. Uh -huh. I'm her, <laughs> making sure she gets home safely so she can stream again, <laughs> <laughs> which is going to be very important for reasons that will be apparent very soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm perfectly fine. Hi. How are you doing? Good. And what, what's your name? I'm on Sungverse. Yeah. I'm awesome. I'm a variety Twitch streamer. <laughs> what kind of things do you variety Twitch stream? Like literally everything. She literally streams everything. I have themed days. All there is, there like is Terror nothing, Tuesday, Way Back Wednesday. There is nothing she does not stream. Oh, that's not true. No hentai. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> I love you. You needed that. <laughs> and moving on. Uh, <laughs> And, and this Hello. is my close personal friends. I'm Koopakins, and I'm also a variety streamer, but I do cosplay, uh, hopefully once a week, streaming um, anything from fabrication, like foam weapon builds, or just actual plain old sewing. Um, and then I do a lot of RPGs. So uh, JRPGs like Persona, and Final Fantasy, to like Western RPGs like Skyrim, and then all the in-between stuff like Bayonetta and uh, Cuphead and, and sometimes Resident Evil, which is really scary. So someone who is not only a better gamer than I am, who actually can actually build and make things, which I can't do either. I mean, so I feel like you can do my, that. My try. hatred is growing, essentially. I'm sorry, I could teach no, you. No, it's fine. You can be. No, you couldn't. I can. No, no, I, I don't. I, let, let me rephrase that. You could teach me. I don't think I can learn it. <laughs> I think it's. I the think key that difference. if you believed in yourself, you could do it. I believe that I'm going to go talk to the other mod over here. Um, so this is the person who tried, tried to run away because I was going through everybody in a circle. And this is another mod for uh, the crazy person that um, who was essentially tried to run away when oh I God. was going through the circles. Like I'm not going to notice <laughs> that as I'm getting closer, she runs around the circle the other way like we're playing Red Rover or British Bulldog or something. Um, I'm not really sure why why people do that 
I don't, I don't know. Anyway, at least in the description. Um, and now you're in my vlog. So congratulations on, on making that. I slightly made her cry, but uh, worth it, really. Hashtag worth. Hashtag, hashtag worth it. Anyway, sorry, you never, you never actually introduced yourself. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Zrockbach. And you've recovered quite well, actually, from from me, from, me, from, from, from me trying to kill you. So good job. Do you see what I'm saying about about the people in TwitchCon people? How it's like everybody's super chill, everyone's having a good time, so many cool people and they're all just trying to have fun and have a good time and make memories and have friends and all that good stuff, so super, super cool. Um, now the board game guy said they were setting up board games somewhere in the lobby. So I'm gonna see if I can find where this guy is and check out what board games they're playing because who needs sleep, right? Well, uh, so that's done. Things were a little crazy over there. It was super loud. I don't know if you would have been able to hear anything, but um, yeah, I got introduced to some folks in the board game community, essentially. There's not too many people playing board games right now, and uh, yeah, they're a pretty cool bunch of people. But it is now after 11 o'clock. I need to get myself together for my flight tomorrow. But the good news is I took 11 pictures out with me, and I got rid of all 11. So there we go, that's a couple fewer packages to take home with me. Um, and I got a couple business cards again, which is awesome. So, links in the description. I'm starting to actually get quite tired. It is late, it is late, but I'm starting to get really tired. So I'm gonna pack up as much as I can tonight so that in the morning I can just relax and take it easy until I have to go. And yeah, so there we go, mission accomplished. Another 11 pictures gone through, how exciting. And now I need sleep. It's adventuring with Paul, TwitchCon number two. Well, TwitchCon number three, but year two for me. Shout out. Adventuring with Paul. It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul.